few of us really think about it. That's just a few that got caught. Most of them don't get caught. But Rondi Spain can't help but think about the reckless drivers tearing up guardrails and signs. Nearly 1.4 million in tax dollars was spent on damaged government property that uninsured drivers haven't paid for. It's not statewide, just in Bear County alone. When a driver crashes into a road sign or pushes over a guardrail and doesn't have the money to repair or replace it, your hard-earned tax dollars foot the bill. We're responsible for building and maintaining the highways, but safety is our number one priority. So if something is damaged on the roadway and it doesn't get paid for, it still needs to be replaced. We pulled the data. Between April 2010 and April of this year, there are at least 615 cases of repairs that your tax dollars already covered, including 76,000 that paid for a damaged guardrail and overhead sign at Interstate 10 and Loop 410 from May of 2010. Tax dollars also covered nearly 181,000 for damage to a bridge on Geavers Road on I-10 East from an October 2010 crash. If it's a guardrail and it's there for a safety reason, it has to be replaced. If there's a stop sign, we have to replace it. In some cases, the driver doesn't survive. Last April, a blowout caused a driver to lose control, causing at least 31,000 in damage near Pullman Road. The trucking company responsible was billed, but the state has yet to receive the money. In many cases, the attorney general's office will go after drivers until they pay up. But there have been many cases in which the driver never does. Jimmy Ramirez says he sees hit and run crashes far too often from his front yard. Yeah, the sign right here, it been knocked down for about 20 times in the last 10 years. They always run over it. It's not just TxDOT using tax dollars for repairs. Over the last two years, um, the, the cost to repair the damage signs and guardrail has been a little under 300000 Bear County Public Works says most of its expenses went to replace signs and the remainder for guardrails. Authorities say it's hard to track down hit and run offenders, so they are forced to budget for those repairs. So that's why we track those kinds of costs, is so that we know going forward um, um, what it costs to repair the damaged signs. And right now, uh, we're averaging about $225 a sign. In the past two years, our tax dollars paid to repair at least 1,200 road signs. And while some don't mind the cost... It doesn't bother me as much because at least I know where the taxes are going. Others, like 65-year-old Ron De Spain, who still works, wishes his tax money could be spent on something else. I can be working on my house or, or on the ranch or something. He wants everyone to pay attention from now on to property being damaged. I'd like to see more people involved in when they see somebody hit a sign to report it, get the license number or whatever they can. Christina Coleman, Fox News at 9.